and everyone in between. Welcome back to Jane James VR. So, today, I'm going to be doing a hardware review. I am going to take a look at the prescription inserts from VR Rock. Now, a channel first, really, I have to tell you a disclosure. VR Rock sent me these for free to review. So take that into account. I did receive this for free. However, if a product is bad, I think you should trust me that I would tell you. I will go over all the, the details of this and you can decide for yourself. However, I'm not going to make you wait a long time. I just can tell you right away, I actually really like these. They do what they're supposed to. So I have no problem endorsing this product at all. But keep watching because there are things you'll probably need to know. And they will probably apply to any sort of prescription inserts for any Pimax headset. So first off, here they are. Now, <laughs> these are quite big. But here's kind of the funny part. They're actually not big enough. But these are really big. Here, like, look at this. What do you think? Think this is a cool look? Huh? I'm just go to work like this? What do you think? <laughs> look how huge these are. And the funny thing is they can actually be huger. VR Rock did ask my prescription and they gave this to me per my prescription. So these are not like plano lenses or anything. And these have the blue light filter and the anti-glare filter. Now they didn't actually tell me this, but it's pretty obvious when I'm having these installed on the headset, I am not seeing glare at all. And that's really good because Pimax headsets have really good lenses. You do not get a whole lot of glare on them especially compared to something like an Index, but even a Quest 2. There's just not a lot of glare on an 8KX or probably a 5K Super. So it'd suck if you got glare. These, I saw no additional glare. So that's really good. Don't know how bad it would be without the anti-glare filter, but I think I'd opt that. It's 10 extra dollars for the anti-glare. You don't want glare in your VR headsets. And especially when you're using a high-end headset that has good lenses that don't have a lot of glare, you don't want to add it on later. Now I did mention the blue light filter. So I'll quickly talk about that. I actually don't know anything about blue light. I'm not an optrician. I don't know anything about it. But I'll tell you that these do block blue light and I'll show you. So yes, initially this is just testing with just the blue light. And then these are through my regular glasses, which do not have any sort of filter like that on them. And of course, lastly, through the, the actual VR Rock lenses. And you can see that very, very little blue light actually gets through. If you want to avoid blue light, then these will certainly do that. So a little bit about these in general. They're pretty sturdy. This doesn't bend or flex much at all. I'm not entirely sure how these are made, but they're a sturdy piece of plastic. Nonetheless, doesn't quite look 3D printed, but it might be resin. I'm not sure, but it's sturdy. So I wouldn't, I mean, not that these are the sort of things that would go through a lot of abuse, honestly. You wouldn't be abusing these, you'd put them in your headset and forget about it, right? And the installation I'll briefly talk about. But for now, always a minor paranoia I have is you mustn't ever have lenses touch. Not going to be an issue with these. Here, you can see there's quite a gap between the lenses and where they will install on the headset. Quite a lot of space there. Eh, look at my tiny head. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so as large as these are, this is worth noting that the 8KX and the 5 kc or Pimax headsets in general have massive lenses, massive flipping lenses. And if you haven't actually like taken off the gasket or you're just used to it, well, here's a picture of them in of these installed. And you can see that these do not cover the entire lens. And if they did, these inserts would be positively massive. And as is, these are quite large. I mean, I've had other inserts for other headsets and these are massive compared to them, but it doesn't cover the entire width of the lenses. The question I guess is, and what we really need to talk about is how does this affect the FOV? I think that's sort of the thing. As far as like clarity in the headsets with these, very, very good. I did notice some very, very slight amount of, I don't know if I'd call it distortion, but they did change the view ever so slightly. However, I got used to it pretty instantly. 
but I did notice it doesn't look quite the same picture. That's uh, sort of like, you're, you're, if you're watching this, you're probably a glasses wear. So you know when you take off your glasses, you notice that things are slightly shifted. When you put your glasses on, everything looks ever so slightly dis different, right? It's that same effect. Normally, I wear contacts when I play VR. That's what I've always done. These do sort of change, they shift things just a little bit in the same way your actual regular glasses do. It's gonna be probably true of any prescription lens. Just for some reason, it took me by surprise with these. But I got used to it just as quick as you sort of do when you put on your glasses when you wake up in the morning. Or if you, like me, you switch between contacts and sometimes not. But the pitch is good. It's clear, it's sharp, it looks really good. So I have zero complaints there. These are nice lenses. The concern I had, of course, is how jarring is it going to be when you reach the edge of this, when you look to one side and you're no longer looking to the insert lenses and you're just looking at the Pimax lenses at the corner of your eye. And where about is that? I think is the important question. And from what I can tell, we'll go by sort of pie tool language here and say that these offer the perfect sharpness up to about 120 degrees. I have, I've never, I only know of one other company that produces prescription inserts for the AKX or Pimaxes in general, and that's VR Optician. And people have said that it cut into it quite a bit for those. For these, I would still say 120 is a little less than I would like. I would have liked to have seen these just a teensy bit wider to get you to 140. But that said, it's not jarring. When you're looking through this and your gaze leaves the actual prescription inserts and starts looking at just the Pimax lenses, it's not particularly jarring actually. I was thinking it maybe would be, especially you can see with mine, they are kind of thick. And I suspect that most of these would be kind of thick because my prescription's not super high. You know, I'm about, it varies per eye, but I think my worst eye is negative 2.25. So it's not terrible. Bad enough you could never play VR with it, that's for certain, but it's not a super high prescription and these are quite thick. And these have a bit of weight to them, I'll point out too. Not excessive though. Yeah, I think that's sort of a concern. If you're playing on, say, small, so 120 degrees, you're covered. You have the entire coverage pretty much. If you're going on 140 normal, then it will cut in a little bit. And at 160, it's not super noticeable actually, because you sort of get blur on the edges at 160 between, I think the last, like, say, 10 degrees on left and right sides at the large FOV tend not to be super clear in the first place. So having those be not particularly clear because of this not being there isn't really a huge issue. So I would say it's really at 140 where you sort of notice it, but it's not jarring. There's not actually like a line I was consciously aware of. It just sort of became less sharp there. Not that different from using fixed foveated rendering. And if you're already using something like fixed foveated rendering, actually you kind of don't really notice that much because you're sort of expecting that anyway. An issue I had with some of these is that the lenses, the actual inserts can stick out too far. I particularly had this issue with the prescription inserts for my old index. It was so uncomfortable. It was unbearably uncomfortable. It sliced into your face. Now these are gently sloped, so it won't cut into your face, but I'm gonna say this, I am using a 15 millimeter, the thicker foam, and I'm using the, the PU leather one, although I don't think it would matter. But I do notice on Pimax headsets, your eyes are quite a bit farther away than they are with other headsets, particularly something like a Quest 2, where you're, you really want your eyes as close to the lenses as possible. Same applies for something like an index. But on Pimax, they're not made like that. Their FOV isn't generated by having your eyes really close to the lenses. They're generated by the fact the lenses are flipping massive. So your eyes are actually farther away in a Pimax headset than they are in most others. And as a consequence, this does not mean much at all, even though it's quite thick right? This looks quite thick. I'd be very surprised if you felt these touch your face at all. 
And here's another little interesting thing. I was actually quite concerned about this. It's pretty rare, but I have a drool on Pi eye tracking module. I did a review of them a little while ago. And to install the drool on Pi, you have to put on uh, a sort of a thin little metal bit. And I'll show you a picture here. So you can see that little metal ring around the outer edges of the lenses. I was worried that I would have to remove those to get these to fit. To be honest, they go to the exact same place, right? Now, obviously, you cannot use your drool on Pi as the, at the same time as these. They do go into the exact same place. But my concern was if I remove the drool on Pi, so they don't typically use them, that those metal, the little metal brackets would prevent me from getting these installed correctly. But no, as you can see, I have them installed just fine. It was not an issue. You just can't use them both at the same time. So if you are going to get a drool on Pi module, or you're thinking about it, and you wear glasses, you're going to have to get contacts. However, if you're okay with these or contacts and a drool on Pi, you won't actually have issues installing these and the little metal brackets will not cause a problem. So I was quite pleased with that. So installation is pretty straightforward. You remove the actual plastic gasket, not the foam part, but the whole thing. And you do just sort of tug it gently off. You sort of pull it inward a little bit and it'll come right off. You place the lenses just over top of your existing ones in about the middle. And then you replace the plastic gasket and then it'll stay in place. It's pretty straightforward, if a bit more work than it is with other headsets. So my final thoughts on this are, I quite like this. I'm happy to endorse this. And in the description below, there's a link to the product. And I can give you 5% off. That's the code J-A-M-E, Jane. So, I hope you found them useful. I like these. I'm pretty sure I'm going to mostly use these instead of, you know, stick the old contacts in, especially on my days off when I'm feeling lazy. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I do anticipate actually using these regularly. And that's sort of my requirement to endorse something. If I'm going to be using it reg regularly, if I like it and I use it regularly, then it is something I'm comfortable endorsing. And in this case, that's going to be true. I quite liked this thing popping off my glasses and then just throwing it on without having to mess around with contacts. I do like that. I can say these pretty good. However, and I'll say this, nothing is as good as either having perfect vision or just the right pair of contacts. In my case, I do have just the right pair of contacts. My eyes did not get dry in VR. The contacts are always a bit of a pain in the butt, right? That said, these are the best solution. But a lot of people, a lot of people really dislike contacts and they just never find a brand that just fits them perfectly, is totally comfortable to the point you don't even know you're wearing them. You know, there's a lot of work with contacts. They can be quite fussy to find the perfect set of contacts for you. And a lot of people just don't want the hassle. For those people, or for people who are too lazy to put their contacts in every time they want to play a game, this is a great product. Yeah, you do make some minor concessions as far as the clarity of your field of view goes. But honestly, playing games with them, I didn't find that too much of an issue. Because it's wide enough that anything you're looking at directly looks perfectly good. And... In my case, it wasn't worse than, say, foveated rendering, and then having them together was no additional issue. You'll still see movement and colors and stuff just fine. There's not a significant line where you notice that it's off the lenses, so to speak. So I found this totally acceptable. And I think that was a lot of concern with these sort of things is, is it noticeable when I'm gaming? Is it sort of jarring where there's like a clear picture and then note a line and then noticeably blurry. It's no worse than say using foveated rendering. And again, even if you're using these and foveated rendering, which at that point you may as well, I always actually recommend you use foveated rendering anyway. It's three frames per second pretty much, isn't it? So yeah, I quite like these. I'm going to be using them regularly and I have no problem endorsing these. All right, thanks for coming. Lads, lovelies, everyone in between. Thank you for your likes, subscribe, shares, and comments. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.